Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> we'll be like closing and. <laughs> 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 Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Aisha. So sorry, our eyes could be like closing and. <laughs> and I. Oh! <laughs> because it's what? It is, it's so sunny. And <laughs> who sent you to come around us? <laughs> we needed we needed the light and all. Hey so, guys, um, the next one is like watching. And subscribe. You know, if you subscribe and view and you watch my videos, so obviously, give me more money. Give me money. You know, <clears throat> like subscribe yeah, and share. Yeah. So you guys, you must be wondering who this human being is. This, this is my my friend. Hi. Is, is, introduce me. Yeah, introduce yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's Tessa. So in today's video. We'll be talking about things we wish we knew before getting to university. So I am I am in 300 level studying chemistry, like I said, and you are what? 300 level studying theater and performing arts. Yeah, she's an actress. No, I'm not. She seems to be actress. Mm. Okay, so I feel like we already have the experience <laughs> <laughs> to like come on here and just share with you guys things we wish we knew before college. And well, I have some of them here. Eating down. Eating down. Okay. Okay. So um. Uh um. Okay. So the first thing will be to avoid procrastination. What? To avoid procrastination. I feel like I'm the Lord and Master of procrastination. So like, I'm the best person to give advice. No matter what you do, do not procrastinate. Like, try as much as possible to avoid procrastination. Your life is literally wasting you. I feel like I can come top of my class if I don't procrastinate. Like, first position kind of vibes. If I was not such a huge procrastinator. Oh my god. Wow. Don't you procrastinate? I mean, I think I have I procrastinate. I procrastinate a lot, especially when I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to shoot a video today, or like, I need to study today. I or like, I have an assignment. To Jesus the Christ! Next day. I just remembered you like from when we had that protecting. She, Aisha is more of a procrastinator than I am. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like literally, uh, okay. she would let it. Aisha is somebody back that can be cooking food. Like, she can tell her pilinyam. I should put water like on gas and should leave. Okay, she lie down. She lie down. Like you just leave it. Why why will you start cooking yam? You know you just peel yam and all you have to do is just put it, put salt and just wait for it to get done. But she will peel yam, put the yam inside bowl, lie down, then stand up later. Like what was wrong with you? I was tired. Point is you guys avoid procrastination. <laughs> It's not good, it's not good but at all. Do you know how many assignments I have missed? Like, how many assignments I was supposed to submit for color procrastination? Hmm. That should lead us to our second point. Anyway. Like, even though you want to flex and eh, try to focus on university, because uh, at the end of the day, flexing will not give you a job, it's not experience. Nobody will employ you because you used to flex in university. Exactly. To be very honest. And when flexing again, try to think of your health. You know, like especially when you go flexing, I just like every time, every single time. Don't forget that your liver suffers it. Or, or when when you drink too much, what is this? You know, when you when you like drink too much, your kidney. Now imagine joining both of them. How you know how much feel kidney like a personal is. Attack? I feel like who are you attacking? The people out there and somebody. You know, like. Anyways, focus on your studies, though. <laughs> like, just try as much as possible to balance it out. Like, flex as much as you can, as much yeah. as you're allowed to. And then, like, do school as well. My own department doesn't even really give time for flexing. It's always, like, it's, it's, everything in that department is just back-to-back -back and exhausting. 
So sometimes when you not get when I not get like the space to flex and just to go out and chill, I tend to like I can overdo it. Like I can go and chill and then end up in bed for like two days because of exhaustion. So exactly. And then sometimes, Jesus Christ, I have this time that I was supposed to submit an assignment. Not the first story I told you. Like I have another one. I was supposed to submit an assignment literally the next day. And he gave us the assignment for like almost two weeks so Almost two weeks he gave us the assignment. And I didn't do it. I just kept on pushing it. Because I was just I just felt it's going to be like writing. And I'm very good at writing. So you just sit down and you just write just top of your head stuff. Hey, the night and I decided to do it. One boy that I've been crushing on. <laughs> Men. And that's another, that's another topic, that's another header. One boy that I was crushing on now called me. Like literally, me and this boy, we used to always text and he was like, um, let's meet up, let's just one. But he's always making plans. But it was that day now that he now had my time, that day in particular. I was now trying to like, I was in a dilemma of almost an hour trying to decide. Deep down in my mind, I knew I was going to go. But I was trying to tell myself that I'm a responsible student. So I was trying to decide: Am I going to do the assignment? Am I going to go? Am I going to do the assignment? Am I going to go? And I lied to myself. And I took the jotter that was in the assignment and I put it in my bag. That if I get there, you know, if things get boring, I'll just sit down and write. I didn't write shit though. So the next morning, like this, the next morning, I now had to go to class. Like some few minutes before submission. That's when I did the assignment. And I got a manageable score. Manageable. It's that's not that terrible. Sounds like me. I mean, I still wasn't the lowest. So, I'm the Amen. So, what's next? What? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> what's this? <laughs> this, what my, this was my laughter is so loud. <laughs> God. Okay, so the next word. Try was. not to get distracted. By men. By women, too. Okay, it's true. We have male viewers as well. Try not to get <laughs> distracted <laughs> by the women. opposite gender. The opposite gender. But especially men. I'm just doing it for my sisters out there. Because it's men. Anyways, <laughs> focus on your studies. And if it's possible not to date and try to invest, don't do it. <laughs> just don't. I promise you I shall. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, I feel like if you want to date, uh, do, do just do it when you have got it maybe 200 level or 300 level. I think two, 300 semester. level would be better. 300 level, second semester, that kind of thing. Well, if you start dating 100 level, hmm. distraction. Okay. Hmm. Let me tell you something about Aisha. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like just try to focus. It's not really about men are wicked bad, but to be very honest, I feel like when they used to tell us about when we were younger that men are a distraction, that like boys are a distraction. That <laughs> boys are a distraction. We don't use to say the cameraman is so fine. You guys. Very distracting. Very distracting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. You see, don't let men distract you. <laughs> Because you won't focus on what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so, when they used to say it, like when we were younger, that it's boys are a distraction. And everybody just to take it for granted. I was just used to laugh it off and everything. But it's, it's serious talk, real talk. Like I said earlier, try not to date till so you're in like 300 level. I mean, I, I wish I knew that. I mean, I don't wish I knew that because I didn't date. But I feel like for other people, because I have friends. I have friends. I mean that that should not have dated early like that because you know 100 level is really important to like build your CGP and all of that 200 level and 200 level ish but if you have too many carivers in 100 level then 200 level CGP is not going to be that great either then you're just like going to spend your entire school days yeah. trying not to get carryover yep. which is very stressful trust me this in certain departments like my department. I, I mean, everywhere. Carnival is like the worst thing ever. Yes, it just depends right. if the class is like pericocidal. Yes. Like the yes. 
So the next thing is to let go of toxic people in your life mm. when you are going to college. Not when you are going to college. I mean, like when you are in college, you should let go of toxic people. Okay, yeah, true. Because like when you are going, you, you just have like household friends, like maybe your friends that you grew up with and all of that. The real wicked people, the real blood suckers. You meet okay. them in university. They are with you. <laughs> I feel like most friends that actually that I'm actually close to now are. I actually met them in 200 level, 100 level second semester and up to now we are like close and I'm really glad I made the choice of now really yeah, having friends. friends then. Um, I mean, I had friends, I have, I'm not really, I'm the kind of person, like, I still, like, get to an environment, just, like, pick, not necessarily pick, sure, but, like, the first few people that I vibe with are literally the people that I'm going to vibe with, like, till I graduate, which is not a great thing, because, because I can, hey, God, it's very exhausting, anyway. Very exhausting. Just try not to make toxic friends. And as soon as you find out, like you realize that this person or this set of people are toxic and like no good for your energy, just try as much as possible to cut them off as soon as possible. Because believe it or not, and they're like now, everybody likes to pretend that they don't really care. I don't care if you like do this, if you like do that. But hearing that somebody you are close to or somebody that you call your friend is talking behind your back, or the person does not have your back, or like. It's just lots of bad energy it can be very exhausting. Yeah. Very emotionally draining, I swear. Like, it's just spoiling me at all times. I've had some cases myself. It's, it's, it's a day spoiler. You just wake up in the morning and somebody will just give you bad news as soon as you get to the department. The rest of the day, you just want to be beating people with sleepers. Anyways, what's next?